Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be looking at filter. As the name would suggest, filter will help you filter a collection. So let me show you a couple of examples starting from the very basic stuff. Let's create a collection. We'll use collect and put an array. And let's start with four simple numbers, one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to call the filter method on it. We're not going to pass in any parameters and let's see the results. So obviously nothing is being filtered. Well, what about this? What if we added an empty string? Let's see what happens then. Filter is eliminating that empty string. Let me prove it to you. I'm going to get rid of filter and sure enough, we have this empty string right here. But if we go back and say filter and we don't pass in any parameters that gets deleted. What else can we filter out? How about a zero? Yep, that gets deleted. How about null? Yep, that gets deleted as well. False, same thing. And finally, just an empty array of any sort also gets filtered. So that's already a very useful method that you can use. If you just need to clean a collection of any falsy values, you can call filter on it without passing in any parameters. Now, if you need a little bit more flexibility with filter, then you can pass in a closure. So we'll do that now. We'll say function value inside this closure. You will receive each of the values in your collection. And then you need to return either true or false if you want that to be included in the collection. So let's start with a very simple example and simply return false. So if we return false, we get a completely empty collection. And that makes sense. Same thing if we returned true, right? So every item gets returned true and we just get our collection back. All right, what if we wanted only the even numbers? Well, in that case, we could say something like value mod two equals zero. And that will give you even numbers. So two and four. Same thing, if you wanted odd numbers, of course, you could say remainder one, in which case you get one and three. What about the keys? If you need access to the keys in the collection, as a second argument to your closure, you can pass in a second variable. We'll say key. And let's do an example with key. If the key is greater than two, then sure enough, we get that. So filtering is very powerful, but really simple to use. Again, all you need to do is return true or false if you need that particular item to be included in the collection. Now, last thing to note about filter is that it does return a brand new collection. So let's just say if we had collection equals collect, and then we called filter and collection, and then finally, return collection, then you obviously get your original collection back. Filter does not affect the original collection. If you needed to save that, you could say new collection equals that. And then instead of returning collection, we'll return new collection. Let's check out the results. And sure enough, we get exactly what we had before. Now keep in mind, there is a counter method to filter and that is reject. So if you need the opposite of filter, you would use reject. If you're interested in that, check out the reject video.